Greetings, and welcome everyone to Retro Game Repairman, where we learn to get vintage video games to run on modern hardware. I'm your host, Ace, and today we are looking at an absolute classic. Specifically, Emperor Battle for Dune. Developed by the legendary Westwood Studios and released as a PC exclusive in 2001, Emperor Battle for Dune is itself a sequel to both Dune 2000 and Dune 2, and as such is loosely inspired by the David Lynch film of Dune, which itself is very loosely inspired by the original Frank Herbert book series. That said, it has nevertheless found its place in the hearts of many Dune fans as well as RTS fans in general, so it's unfortunate that the game does not play well with modern operating systems, so allow me to provide the steps to change that. And for reference, these fixes are being tested on the physical copy of Emperor Battle for Dune, as unfortunately at the time of this video the game has not been digitally re-released yet. In addition, for those curious, the machine that this game is being tested on it runs on Windows 10 64-bit with an NVIDIA GTX 980, an i7 6700K, and 48GB of DDR4 RAM. But getting back to how to get the game to run, you'll first need to copy the setup folder from the game's install disk and copy it onto your hard drive. Please note that even if you have already had the game installed on your hard drive previously, you'll need to reinstall it for these fixes to work properly. Next up, you'll want to download the official install fix, and upon opening it up, move the setup.exe file into your newly created setup folder, and then proceed to configure this file so that it runs in admin, as shown here. Next up, you'll want to download and extract DG Voodoo 2 if you don't already have a copy of it, and then copy the files found in the x86 folder of the ms folder of the DG Voodoo 2 directory, and paste these files into the setup folder. Once this is done, open up DG Voodoo 2 and add the setup folder to the list of config folders. Now you can install Emperor Battle for Dune using the setup.exe file. And once this is done, you'll then want to download and install the 1.09 patch. After this, the next step is to take the emperor.exe file from the install fix and paste this file into your game's directory. And in addition, set it to always run as admin once again as shown here. Finally, go back to the DG Voodoo 2 directory and copy the files once again found from the x86 folder of the ms folder. Once this is done, open up DG Voodoo 2, add the game's directory, and configure your settings to as shown here. Congratulations, if you have done everything correctly, your copy of Emperor Battle for Dune will now be playable, and in addition will also be able to play not only cutscenes, but also in-game narration. And on top of all of this, the game will also be running in 1080. I hope those of you who have had trouble getting this particular game to run properly have found this guide to be most helpful, and I also hope to upload another episode of Retro Game Repair Man soon. But in any case, this has been Ace. Hope to see you guys again soon. Take care. A-Sal.